Good morning. Today is day three of the 30 day posting challenge I'm, challenge I'm doing. Um, and I'm currently in Sydney in the hospital. Don't worry, the person in my hospital is not here. Um, and I'm getting ready to go out to get some breakfast. Uh, yesterday, if you watched day two, we went to the Sydney Opera House and we went for free, which is insane or not that insane to be honest, because we got lucky, but I'm going to tell you the story anyway. Um, so there was, um, classical music performance on and it was called A Call for World Peace, which I think is a very, um, well, a little bit of a, a tacky, not really tacky, but just like a little bit of simple title, but fine. Um, we just wanted to go to Sydney Opera House uh, because everyone was that. And then we realized, it looked like there were no tickets left online, but we realized when we called though, that it was a, for a show that was on for free. And yes, you had to reserve tickets and yes, there were no normal tickets left, but they told us if you come an hour before the show, um, maybe people will return their tickets. So we were sitting there an hour beforehand asking and they were like, no, we don't have tickets, but you can go online. Like the moment we see that there's a new ticket, you see it as well. Like if you keep refreshing online. So I was doing that. I was doing that like every second. I was like, Ch -ch 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 refresh and one ticket came available, but we were with the two of us. And so I had one ticket and then all of a sudden the, the sis, the online system closed 40 minutes before the show, which I think is very strange. Like, why would you do that? Because I'm sure like later on people will come and be like, Oh yeah, this person can make it. Here's my ticket. Um, but that meant we had to rely solely on people actually coming to the counter or calling in saying like, oh, I'm not going to make it. And who does that? No one does that, right? No one does that when they are going to show, especially if it's free. People, this I have learned, people are rude as. Um, But I'll tell you about that later. So I was just standing there. And they told me like, oh, yeah, just sit down. And then, um yeah, if there's a ticket available, just check every five minutes. And I was like, no fucking way. Because there's other people hunting for these tickets as well. And I'm getting that ticket. So I was just standing there like the rude bitch I am apparently, uh, standing there in front of the counter being like, I'm just going to wait. And then this guy comes over to the next counter and he's like, oh yeah, I have this ticket for my mom. Could you maybe like hold it here? I'll just give her name and she can pick it up. Um, and they were like, yeah, sure. And then I, I was like, with my little eye, I was smiling. I was like, this is happening. It's, it, something's happening. And then he was like, oh, and I had this one ticket. And he could not even finish a sentence where I was like, oh, my gosh, can I have that ticket, please? Because um, he was like, oh, yeah, I have this extra ticket. You can just give it to some. And I was already in there scooping away that ticket. I'm like, can I please have it? Please, 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 please. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. And I could not help it. But I was like, mm -hmm. I got a ticket. So I got a second ticket, which meant both of us could go. And then obviously the tickets weren't seated next to each other. So we were hoping that maybe someone like close to that second ticket or my ticket um, was not showing up. But as we were waiting in the room, and here's the rude part, it, we realized when the performance start was about to start, we were like, where is everyone? Turned out that like one-fifth of people just didn't show up when things are free. This is, this is an, a, like a good example of why you should never make anything free because when it is free and people haven't committed, like paid for it, they feel like they're not committed and they will not show up. So even if you're asking five euros or $5 or whatever, always charge something because that will make people feel like they have to go because otherwise they've wasted something. Um, so yeah, that's the lesson of today. Um, and then yeah, we were in the opera house for free. Now let's start day three of my Sydney experience and it's rainy. Um, let me show you. It's a bit rainy, but I'm sure we can make I found the vegan breakfast place, or it's breakfast and lunch, I think it's called All My Days, plant-based patisseries. 
them in a really excited to try it because there's not a lot of times that I can see or that there's croissants, so I'm definitely getting a croissant and I might like get all these things to go as well because I need to eat all day. Gotta love the cockroaches in the public toilets. I'm in the state library at the moment and there is something about libraries that just make me so at ease and so peaceful and I feel like it's such a good place to, to go if you're in a new city just to explore and there's always lots of people there and it's so peaceful and quiet and in this library they have a massive collection of um, paintings and portraits and lots of information about Aboriginal people which I really uh, find very interesting because in Perth there isn't a lot of um, information about Australia's history which is a bit upsetting. Um, luckily here in Sydney they have some more information and backgrounds and actually a little insight into the history um, beyond the colonized white history of only 200 years old. <laughs> Mais à mon